Impact of point of view on mood, an intimate connection. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our series on elements of creative writing. Today, we're diving deep into the topic of impact of point of view on mood. This is a truly fascinating aspect of writing that often goes unnoticed, yet it plays a pivotal role in determining how a story feels. Let's see how the perspective from which a story is told can directly influence the emotional tone or mood it sets. Remember, point of view and mood are closely linked in storytelling. First things first, let's revisit the concept of point of view, or POV. It essentially refers to the perspective from which a story is told. The main types are first person, narration using I or we. The reader gets an intimate look at the narrator's feelings and thoughts. Second person, narration using you. It directly addresses the reader, making them a part of the story. Third person, narration using he, she, or they. Depending on the subtype, limited, omniscient, or objective, we get varying levels of insight into characters' minds. Mood is the emotional atmosphere of a story. It's the vibe or feeling that readers get while moving through the narrative. Whether it's a chilling horror story or a sunny romance, the mood is what makes readers happy, sad, tense, or relaxed. Now, let's connect the dots between POV and mood. 1. First person. Due to its intimate nature, first person POV can generate strong empathy from the reader. We feel what the narrator feels. If our narrator is joyful, the mood becomes jubilant. If they're scared, we feel tense. 2. Second person. This is a unique and less common POV. By putting the reader in the story, it can create an immediate and intense mood. Think of being in a choose-your-own-adventure story. There's a heightened sense of involvement and urgency. 3. Third person. The mood here is generally more flexible. For example, an omniscient POV can offer a broad, sweeping mood by dipping into multiple characters' emotions, whereas a limited POV might focus on one character's feelings, creating a mood that resonates with their personal journey. To understand this better, let's look at a scenario from different POVs. First person, I stepped into the dark room, my heart pounding in my chest. Every shadow seemed to move. Mood, intense fear and apprehension. Second person, you step into the dark room. Your heart pounds in your chest, and every shadow appears to shift. Mood, immediate dread, with the reader placed in the frightening scenario. Third person, limited, Sarah stepped into the dark room. Her heart was pounding, and she felt the shadows were alive. Mood, concern for Sarah's well-being. Third person, omniscient, Sarah stepped into the dark room, her heart racing, unaware that John was feeling just as scared in the room next door. Mood, general suspense with insight into multiple characters' feelings. That brings us to the end of today's discussion on the impact of point of view on mood. We've seen how the perspective of a story plays a significant role in shaping the emotional atmosphere. As writers or readers, being aware of this connection can elevate our appreciation of literature. Remember, the way a story is told can change the way it feels. We hope this video has illuminated this intricate dance between POV and mood, and we look forward to exploring more topics with you soon. Happy reading and writing!